Hi, I'm Uli and today I'm gonna tell you about a book that really changed my life. So if you don't know me, I'm Uli, I'm a year 12 student studying in the UK and I like studying and reading books. And you know with this video I actually wanted to do top 5 books that changed my life and then I started thinking about which 5 books I should include and there's just one that really stood out and the other 4 just couldn't compete and so I decided to make a video about this one. So what is the book? <laughs> it's called Into the Magic Shop by Dr. James R. Doty. Even the cover is so nice, I'm not even kidding you. Okay, look at this. I started reading this book because the first word outside of the book says neurosurgeon and I'm just like... I want to be a surgeon? Yeah, this is like the perfect book to read. And I started reading it and oh my god, it is such a good book. Okay, so a short synopsis, what the book is even about. So basically it's about the main character, Jim. And basically it's a summer vacation and he is really, really into magic. But the thing is, his dad is an alcoholic and he kind of beats his mom and they have troubles with money and it's not a really healthy family. Kids in these type of families, they always try and look for escaping the family problems. And he did it with magic. He was about six or seven when the book starts and one of his magic props broke and he wanted to get it back so he went to the nearby magic shop to buy a new one and he meets a woman called Ruth and she says do you want me to teach you the best magic trick in the world and he goes what well, what trick is it and she goes it's a trick that can help you get anything you want in life he realized that it is something really important to him because he wanted all of these things but he never thought that he could get it and for the whole summer basically he just starts training with Ruth and essentially she teaches him meditation and kindness and like opening your heart and I just think it's it's really really well explained the whole story has so much depth into it i would really recommend someone read it it's kind of hard to explain how the book is really good so i just chose a couple of quotes that really resonated with me and i'll explain why so the first quote is and until one is truly kind to oneself giving love and kindness to others is impossible it's something i forget a lot i am a person who likes giving out who likes helping people clearly i want to be a doctor i love making people feel better than they felt before sometimes i forget that you know i need to care about myself first a really good example would be my math lessons actually because i'm doing my maths a level this year so like i'm trying to do it in one year and i'm doing it with a teacher outside of school and he's been sick for two months and i messaged him and i was like are you all right and then he was like yeah let's start lessons in a couple of weeks that was like back in beginning of january and then i just kind of like he never got back to me so i messaged him again a couple of weeks ago and he was like oh yeah yeah i'm feeling better let's restart in a couple of weeks and then i felt really bad for nagging him because if he wasn't able to teach for two months then he clearly must be really sick but he wasn't replying to my messages and he wasn't marking any of my homework before he got sick and i just had to be like i'm trying to do my a level this year it's really important for me it would be great if you could actually do the work that you have to do. Why am I putting his busyness before I'm putting my own need to get a good grade in my A-level math? The next quote is, we have to look at another person and think, they are just like me. They want what I want, to be happy. When we look at others and see ourselves, we want to connect and help. This is about empathy, which I feel really strongly about. Like, I'm a really strong empath. And I physically feel the pain of someone when they talk about it to me. Like, when someone goes up to me and says, you know, I, I'm not feeling really well at all. Or I'm so scared. Or I feel so much pressure from my parents. I'm so stressed. I feel their emotion too. I think empathy is one of the strongest things that a person can do. Because it reminds you that all people are the same in a way. And, you know, we all have our own problems and struggles. You never know what's going on in, in other people's lives. And you can't can't just judge by the actions that you see. The next quote is, the reality is, each of us in our lives has wronged others. We're frail, fragile beings who at various times in our lives have not lived up to our ideal and have injured or hurt someone else. That's so true because sometimes you kind of expect other people to be perfect but in reality they're not and a really good example of that would be my mom actually because up until like 13 or 14 years old I worshipped her like I was convinced that she's the perfect person in the world there's absolutely nothing wrong with her I really want to be like her when I grow up but in fact like now for the past one or two years I'm realizing that she's also human and you know before I got here she was here for a long time and you know I became a big part of her life and she did her best to bring me up and she she is still doing her best to help me with everything that I'm doing and support me and sometimes if the things she does upset me or annoy me or something that she says doesn't seem right to me you know it's normal she's also a person she's human she did her best and I'm grateful for that all I can do is look at her flaws and try to make sure that I don't have them all I can do is do my best and then whatever happens happens 
Um, and the final quote is, it is only when we recognize that like us, every person has positive and negative attributes and only when we look at one another's equals that we can truly connect. This is so true and it, it goes back again to the idea that not everyone is perfect and that empathy is so important and the moment you realize that no one is perfect, it makes you feel so much better. On our final word, this book talks about kindness and love as the best virtue that there is and i talked about it with one of my friends actually and we were saying kindness of love they're just it's so, they're so important and the book that i just finished reading basically said that like it's in our nature to be born aggressive and you know, seeking conflict and that's fair i guess because young kids always fight with, them, with one another and like it's normal in a way but then that doesn't mean that we can't keep choosing empathy and kindness and love every single day and i don't know if i look at the world with pink glasses or you know i guess nothing has happened to me yet that made me so disappointed in humanity that i just refuse to believe that love is non-existent and then that every single relationship is a business deal and love always disappears after a certain number of years i'm not the type of person and i really think that love exists and it, the more kindness you give out the more kindness you receive back i guess i'm glad that i haven't had to experience something that would change my mind and when i do then i guess i'll rethink my ideal but for now i am sure that love and kindness lead the way so that's been a very long video where I talked a lot but I hope that you like it and I hope that I convinced you to at least try and consider reading the book because it, it truly is like it's a masterpiece and I hope that you enjoyed it and yeah let me know <laughs> you can follow my Instagram if you want but I don't really post anything on there uh, and I will see you in the next video <laughs> bye bye